Okay, so this is like take number two, so that goes to say that this is going to be probably really long, so I'm just going to go ahead and apologize in advance, but hopefully it's interesting to you at least. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into what I want to talk about so I don't really waste any time fervently talking about how the weekend is tomorrow and stuff. That can be for tomorrow's vlog. Anyway, so um, today in my theater class, we were given a homework assignment for next Tuesday that we are to bring in a an object that is has of some importance to us. Um, and then we are to bring it to class and, and discuss the importance. And the way she described it was make it, like, make sure you are comfortable enough explaining it, which kind of told me that it should be something that really does mean a lot. So, um, so yeah, so if you don't know me very well, if you're not one of, like, the three really close slash best friends I have that I know for sure watch these videos, um... You may not know I'm an extremely sentimental person. Uh, I keep any and everything that could possibly like tie back to some memory. I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure why. I can't really explain. I'm not a psychiatrist, psychologist, whatever you want to call it. I don't understand. But that's just the way I am. I save lots of things. My whole entire board is filled of tickets and flyers and cards that people have sent me and stuff. I just, I keep stuff. And this is just the stuff at college. My house is filled with even more stuff. Anyway, though, um, so I've pulled down a couple of things that might, could be my important object that I bring in. And I'm hoping that after I verbalize their significance in a video, I might be able to decide which one I would want to bring into class. I already have a pretty concrete idea of which one I want to bring in, but maybe verbalizing the significance may change my mind. Um, I'm going to save that one for last, the one that I think that I'm going to choose. So let's start off with um, this thing. Um, Caitlin, if, if she is watching this, she will know what this is or should. It is a million dollar bill that was found on the floor of Starbucks. <laughs> she... Um, Picked it. We went to Starbucks with some friends, and she found it on the ground, and she picked it up, and she gave it to me, and she was like, here you go, Elizabeth, here, this is my gift to you, it's a million dollar bill, uh, so cool. Anyway, though, she's going to think this is ridiculous that I still have this, nonetheless, I've brought it back to college with me to put on my bulletin board, but, um, but yeah, um, the significance of this would probably be, you know, how much my friends mean to me, and how much hanging out with them, you know, means to me, and blah, 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 so yeah, there's that one. Um, on the last take, I almost cried during this one, so hopefully I don't do it in this take, but, um, this is my Seussical ticket, and any of my friends that were in that are probably going to think it's ridiculous that I still own, have this, but, um, this is really significant because I feel like this epitomizes how much my friends mean to me. This is actually, um, Seussical, it's, it was the week after I came to college, and, um, everyone, I had already told everyone that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to come back for the show, I was going to have to miss it, and I felt really bad about it, and that was true, but then I decided last minute that I had to come, because I would, I wanted to be there to support them, and I know that, um, I would want them to be at my show if I ever had one, so, I, um, I made sure I went back home, and I surprised all of them. None of them knew that I was going to come because almost all of my really close friends were in the show, and if they weren't in the show, they came and saw the show with me. So I got to be with all of them for one night because I remember I had to leave the next morning, but it really meant a lot to me that I could be there because I know that I wanted to. So, um... Uh, this is my ticket, um, <clears throat> signed by Nana from Of Monsters and Men. This is, like, the best night of my life, so that's basically why this would mean a lot to me. I would elaborate on that, but, um, there's that. This is basically kind, this next thing kind of goes off of what I was talking about with Suzical. Um, these two things were, um, from the goodie bag that, um, my who, Caitlin, who's one of my best friends, she, um, her surprise 18th birthday party, her mom made goodie bags for everyone, and, um, 
these were from them. I This was actually printed on the bag. I know it's backwards. It says, my friends have made the story of my life, which I thought was pretty true for me. So that's why I cut it out and saved it. And then I saved this. Um, basically, like I said, the same thing as Susical. So friends mean a lot to me, blah, blah, blah. Um, God, the same thing. This is actually a return to sender letter that I wrote for one of my friends. I'm not going to really put his address on here, but um, this is the letter to him. He knows if he's watching this video, he knows it's his letter because I told him that it got returned to me and he was very upset about that. Anyway, um, I write letters to my friends, um, the ones that I have their addresses of at least. Um, that have given me my, their addresses. I write them letters whenever I miss them and I feel sad because it makes me feel better. Um, so yeah, I write them letters and that means a lot to me. Um, this is a picture of the Steel Magnolias cast um, from here. This is Anel, that's me, I was Malin. Clary, Shelby, that's our teacher slash director, Truvy, and Weezer. Actually, all of the girls except for Clary, except for the middle three, we all have tumblers. So, um, yeah, if you want their URLs, let me know. But this means a lot to me because it was like my senior show, and it meant, you know, it was really significant because it was my last year in high school performing with these girls that really mean a lot to me. And, um... Especially the director, um, she means a lot to me, too. She's like, I have many second mothers, but she's one of them. And, um, yeah, so that that's really significant. And um, <laughs> I know uh, I know for sure Jessica tries, at least tries to watch my vlogs. So if you're watching this, Jessica, this one's for you. This is the one that I think I'm going to bring. Um... <laughs> this is a blue streamer. Jessica gave it to me. Um, Jessica was Weezer, by the way, the one that my finger is on. Um, yeah, this is, um, I know this video was really long by now, but, uh, so I'll just be short with this one. But basically, I did this monologue, and it talked about blue streamers. It became this big kind of joke, which is not really cool, but it became this big joke with my friend group about, you know, blue streamers and blah, blah, blah. And so as part of my graduation gift, instead of using tissue paper, she used blue streamers. So that was really fun. <laughs> not really, <laughs> but I kept all the blue streamers and I took a small piece of it and um, I brought it here. Erin just got back from her shower. Anyway, that's my cue to shut up. So, um, so yeah, um, hope y'all enjoyed my little show and tell for you guys. Um, sorry the video got super long, but um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for sure.